Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Rosa Maria. Today I have a wonderful, easy, simple project for beginners. And the project we're going to be working on is learning how to make a shopping bag. This is a very cute, simple shopping bag that you can make. You can make it in different sizes according to what you prefer. So let's get started working on this project. Get your tools and your materials and let's get started. Materials and tools you're gonna to be needing for this project. I selected cotton fabric, but you can choose Canva fabric, which is a much thicker material. You can use either your scissors, rotary cutter, a ruler. I have here a friction pen, which is washable, sewing pins, fabric clips, and coordinating thread. First, before you cut your fabric, it's very important that you iron it first to remove all the creases. And also I wanna stress how important the iron is. Your iron will become your best friend in any sewing projects you're gonna be doing. So once, once you finish ironing, you're gonna cut two pieces of fabric. As you can see here, I already cut two pieces of fabric and the size you're gonna be 48 centimeters by 38 centimeters. So once you finish cutting those two pieces of fabric, we're gonna move on to the next piece of fabric. And this is gonna so be the you just handle. need one piece of fabric to make the handle. And the size will be here 50 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Now I have here my fabric. This is for the handle. And I'm gonna make sure that the printed side is facing down. And we are going to fold the fabric in half and take our iron and give it a good press. Once you finish giving it a good press and it's folded in half, we're gonna reopen it again and we're gonna use this fold here that we created as our landmark. So I'm gonna refold this again and use, like I mentioned, the landmark here, the fold, where I'm gonna end the fold right over here. So this is the fold we're gonna be creating and give it a good press. Now I'm going to turn this around to the other side and then again we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold in half, give it a good press, now that we finish ironing these two sides we're going to refold this again and we're going to sandwich it together and then I'm gonna give it a nice good press again and I'm gonna take my fabric clip here just to secure right here the ends I don't want it to shift or move, especially when, since I'm gonna be taking it to the sewing machine. So I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and we're gonna start here. I'm gonna sew straight all the way up and then make a turn here and sew all the way down. Okay, here at the sewing machine, the seam allowance will be 0 0.5 centimeters so make sure that you have your foot um, presser alongside of the fabric. And now we're gonna start. And backstitch, always backstitch. Okay, we are coming at the end. Now I'm going to pivot. I think I need 
need to do one more stitch for this. Let me go back again. Okay, now I can pivot. So straight across. Okay, now I can pivot a left again. You can see that I swayed away. Um, mistakes can happen. I wasn't paying attention. But make sure that, again, just like I mentioned at first, that the foot presser is along, is at the side here along the fabric, so it makes it easier. So, again, mistakes happen. And we move on. As you can see, I finished sewing the handle. And now we're going to move on to the next step for this project. Now you're going to take one piece of your outer fabric and with the printed side, we're going to face it down. And we're going to take our ruler and our friction pen. Here at both ends, we're going to be measuring six centimeters. So I'm going to line my ruler, making sure it's aligned properly. So this is six centimeters. I'm working it here. And I should have marked it over here in the side better. Let me just try that again. So it is six centimeters here. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Six centimeters. Here at the end. And then I'm gonna take my ruler. I have another ruler here. I just want to make sure it's aligned. And then I'm going to mark it going across. Okay. And then now I'm going to measure three centimeters okay. from here to here. This is three centimeters. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, three centimeters. And then I'm going to take my ruler again and make sure it is aligned. And again, mark across. Okay, that is done. And then what we're going to do is take this end and line it up against the line that we just made. And then I'm going to take my iron and iron it down, making that fold. Once I've done that, I'm going to make another fold align it right here to the second line that I created. That's my little landmark right there. Get the iron, give it a good pressing. Okay. So once I've done creating these fold, remember we have here now two folds. Now I'm going to move this fabric to the side. I'm going to take my template and this is five centimeters by side, five centimeters. And I'm going to, first let me start over here. I'm going to outline the square. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to outline it. Okay. Now 
now that I finish outlining both of the corners here that we created, I'm going to take my pair of scissors and I am going to cut off here the box. That's one end. Okay, let me turn this around and let me cut off the other box corner here. Okay. So now we have both ends here cut off. So once you finish doing that to this side, one, one of the fabrics here, you're going to do the same thing to these two. Here is the second outer fabric. And as you can see, I also cut both corners, five centimeters by centimeters. And I also have the fold that I made six centimeter and then three centimeters. So once we have done that part, I'm gonna turn the fabric this way. Okay, I'm gonna move this down here a little below. I'm going to take my ruler again and also my friction pen and then we are going to align this 14 inches and I'm going to mark here 14 inches and let me just do this again. I'm going to align it up here where the fold is and I have here 14 inches. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Align. Make sure that it's also 14 inches. And you're going to do the same thing to the second piece of fabric. Here we got, oops, have it in the, okay, have it in the right way. Right, right. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so here will be 14 inches also, and this will also be 14 inches. Okay. And the reason why we created those little marking is this is where the handle is going to be placed. When we go further into the tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. Right now, we're just marking the 14 inches and 14 inches. Now, I'm going to just pull this wool fabric out, out of the way. Okay. Now, I'm going to open the folding area and make sure everything is clear. Okay, so make sure that the printed side is facing down. And the same thing here, I'm gonna just unfold and make sure that the backs of both of the fabrics are facing together. And the printed side, as you can see here, are facing, one is facing the bottom and this one is facing the top. And now I'm going to align it and I'm going to start to pen it and we're going to take it to the sewing machine once I finish penning this. Let me just tilt this this way so it makes it easier for me to start penning. Again penning. And also the bottom over here we're going to pen. Now that I finished penning the areas I needed to, I forgot to pin over here on top. Very important. And also the other side here on top. 
So once we finish pinning this side, the bottom, and this side, we're going to take it to the sewing machine because now we have to sew 0 0.5 seam allowance on this side, 5.0 seam, seam allowance at centimeters on the bottom here, and also 0 0.5 centimeter seam here on the side. Okay, here we are on the sewing machine. Back stitch. As you can see, we finished stitching this side here, straight, and then the bottom and the other side. So now that we have all three sides stitched, we are going to turn the fabric inside out. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna take one of my fabric pins here and I'm going to use my fingers and then make sure everything is aligned and even. And I'm gonna use my fabric clips here to hold. And we're gonna do that to all the areas here. And and you're gonna put the clips, the fabric clips, here on the bottom and also on the side. I finish adding all the fabric clips to the sides here and to the bottom, and then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew one centimeter straight down here one centimeter is going here at the bottom and then over here on the other side one centimeters okay now i'm going to start to sew now we're starting here at the bottom We finished sewing all three sizes here, one, two, and three. Now that we finished sewing those three sizes, we're gonna turn the fabric inside out. <clears throat> And now what we are going to do is now I'm going to put my hands through here and we're going to start creating the box corners. Make sure that it's aligned. Okay, make sure, okay. Okay, so make sure that the seams are aligned in both sides here. And then I'm going to take my fabric clip Secure this, let me turn this the right way. Secure this here. Here, I'm going to do the same thing for here. 
I'm going to turn it to the other side and I'll do the same thing. Make sure that it's a line. Seams. Take a fabric clip. And this is how both sides should look like. Make sure that's nice and even. We're gonna take it to the sewing machine and we are gonna, the seam allowance will be 0 0.3. Okay, so let's go to the sewing machine. Start to sew. Back stitch. Now I'm gonna start on the other corner back stitch now that we finished stitching and creating the box corner here now we are going to turn the fabric inside out And then we're gonna create a box quarter again here. So I'm gonna take two of my fabric clips. Okay. And again, secure. And the fabric clips to this corner. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Make sure everything is nicely aligned. Okay. To secure. So now that we have both corners here, clip. We're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to be using seam allowance one centimeters for both. So let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm here at the sewing machine. I'm going to start to sew. Back stitch. And then back stitch. Now starting on the other side. Stitch. Okay, we finished sewing the box corners here, as you can see. Now that we finished doing that, let me just turn the fabric the other way. Now that we have done that, well, we created these folds here. Now is to refold these and then refold it again. Make sure everything is nicely lined, especially the fold. And I'm gonna do this over here. I'm gonna make sure that everything is nicely in order. And then I'm gonna take my fabric clip and I'm gonna clip here to secure that. And then I'm gonna to go to the other side over here just to make sure that the folds are correctly done. And put another clip over here. Okay. And when, in the beginning of the video, I made these markings. I made these markings because this is where we're gonna be using to put the handle. So I wanna make sure that the handle is aligned against the mark. And then I'm going to take, make sure that it's, make sure that, that it's right against the fabric here. Take a fabric clip, secure. Do the same thing, uh, just make sure that it's aligned with the markings here. 
and then flip it to the other side. Okay, in the beginning of the tutorial, I forgot to make a second handle and I didn't realize I ran out of fabric. So let's take this handle and the same thing, make sure that is aligned and is against the end there of the fabric. And I'm gonna take my fabric clip, clip it, make sure that this is in order to do the same thing. Where is my markings over here? Here it is, I found it. Okay, and then just align it and put a fabric clip. And you could continue putting a fabric clip and also give it a nice press so you can make sure that everything is the fold here is, is folded, it's correctly folded. So we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and then of course, I'm gonna start over here at the, and then I'm gonna to start to sew here in the bottom first. So I'll show you as I go to the sewing machine. And as I get to where the handle is, I remove the fabric clip and then gently guide foot presser and the same thing again just gently guide the foot presser over remove the foot presser I mean not the foot presser but remove the fabric clip finished stitching around the back and securing the handle. Next, let me just take my fabric clips here. We're going to move this up and then put a fabric clip on both sides. If you like, you could just have one and do the same thing. We finished stitching across. Around, okay. We finished stitching around the back, securing the handles. Next, we are going to move the fabric up, as you can see here. I'm going to put my fabric clips here. Do the same thing here. Just move this up a little bit. Turn the bag to the other side, do the same thing. Just move, make sure it's nicely done. And then do the same thing to this one. And put a fabric clip here. And then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch here on top. But when we get here, to the, when we get here to the handle, we're going to stitch three times back and forth just to make sure that the handle is secure, especially when one is going to be carrying a lot of stuff in the bag. So we want to make sure the handles doesn't rip. clips and then start to stitch across and then go back and go back one more time coming to the next handle do the same thing Stitch. One more time. 
go. The next handle, I'm gonna remove the fabric clips. Back stitch. And then we're gonna continue sewing. As you can see here, we finished sewing the bag. I'm gonna turn it inside out. And we are, we are done here making this bag. And it's cute because I can just fold it. This is a cute bag. Nice shopping bag. So we are done making our shopping bag. I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And also I wanna mention on the description box below, I list all the materials and tools you need and also a link where you can purchase the materials. And also some of the measurements are also listed on how to make this shopping bag. So until next time, bye.